Hey everybody, Glad Dad here again. I've got another deck profile for you guys. Um, this one I had a lot of fun playing. I really did. Um, you know, shout outs to uh, David Belong, Bailey, um, and all the other guys that uh, threw me <laughs> the cards so I could build this. Um, I ended up uh, going 3-1 at Locals with this. Um, the only loss was to Sword Soul. I went just because Vishuda inherently outs the Rex Room, and I just didn't see the cards to stop him. But I decided to play the Stenomorphia, and it was a lot of fun. It's pure. Um, I have been dabbling with, um, uh, like, Eldritch Stenomorphia. Shoutouts to Juan and Seth um, for uh, <laughs> that. And a shout-out to Juan again for another tech in this deck. I'll explain to you guys when I get to it. But without further ado, let's get into it. I had a lot of fun playing this deck. I really can't stress how much fun it was to go from playing Sword Soul, getting debarred all the time, to playing this deck. So uh, we're going to start off with... Uh, our, our main monster, which is Triple uh, Dynamorphia Thursia, this card is the one that uh, she essentially is an Altergeist Marionette. She's set to trap from the deck for you. Um, she also floats when uh, she's destroyed by battle or a card effect, so you can trigger that with uh, another trap in the deck later on. Um, three Diplos, he is your Foolish Burial, he dumps one. Uh, this guy helps fuel Kurtagina in the extra deck, so that way you can. Um, copy a trap card uh, that you dump off of him. So typically, you can normal dump Frenzy, Kurtagina, copy the Frenzy, just to keep going. Um, I believe this deck's going to get another monster. I think it is. I think it's going to get another monster and a trap uh, for future content and stuff. So, um, Last monster we play in the deck is three, Lord of the Heavenly Prison. This card is just bonkers in any back row deck. I mean, they, you mean protect my bat, my set cards from card destruction? Cool. That's, that's great. It really is. Um, also, uh, this card is the one that, uh, shout outs to, uh, Juan in my side deck. I'll explain the card that I play with this, but, um, it's a one card essentially just helps you against other back row decks. Um, and onto the spells, I play triple pot of duality, um, cause you really don't special, uh, the, on your turn, mostly on your opponent's turn. Um, uh, a lot of people opt to play two of this and then three prosperities. I tried prosperity. I really don't like it. I much prefer just playing three of this, and I didn't really see any dead, uh, dead hands very often. And that is the only spell we are playing. <laughs> now, on to the best part about the deck, the traps. <laughs> so um, we are playing three Domain. Um, domain, this is your fusion spell, or fusion trap, my bad. So used to saying spell. Um, this is your fusion trap. This is the one that allows you to fuse from hand, deck, or, or uh, field, and you can fusion summon one uh, Dynamorphia monster uh, at the cost of half your life. All of the Dynamorphia traps allow you to pay half or for a cost you have to pay half your life on to the better um trap which i really wish was a secret was a frenzy this card is insane because it allows you to dump from your extra deck and deck um to fusion summon so this allows you to get into rexstrom by using um stealth bergy and the extra deck and stuff like that because that's really all you ever use it for is just for fodder um, and then on to the other ones, we do play Double Brute. This is your pop. You pop one of your Dynamorphia monsters, you pop one of your opponent's cards, um, and then you still pay half your life. Um, and now all the Dynamorphia traps, um, the normal traps prevent you from taking effect damage. The counter traps in the graveyard prevent you from taking battle damage. So this allows you to, you know, uh, prevent your opponent from killing you with dumb effects and stuff like uh, Long Young and Sword Soul and stuff like that because you can just prevent yourself from taking any kind of damage. Uh, we do play two of the Counter Trap Sonic. This is your Spell and Trap Negate. Um, I like this one a lot. This is definitely personally one of my favorites. Um, and one that came up that I see a lot of lists not playing is I do play the one Shell. This is your Battle Trap one. At the start of the battle phase, it creates a 3K token uh, with, with defense 3K. Um, and your opponent has to attack it for that turn. So this just also allows you to trigger your other trap cards and stuff because this is considered a Dynamorphia monster. So... We do play the one alert like everybody else is the one that gets back your normals from the graveyard. Um, I do play the one revision uh, or reversion. I like this because it copies any uh, counter trap in the grave. Typically, you use it to copy the uh, Sonic. Um, it, it can also copy um, Judgment, Strike, um, any of those. So, I mean, it's it's really good. I just You only play it at one because you can search it or and you can set it off of your Thursia. But uh, you have to have a Dynamorphia... Uh, uh, fusion monster on the field to use it and that is why we only play the one under the standard traps in the deck we do play the solemn brigade so we do play the three judgments and the three strikes um uh, no warning you don't need warning um judgment strike definitely good enough i don't think i really need to go into any more explanation with those cards 
Um, then on to some of the Floodgate S cards. <laughs> we did play three Gozens and three Rivalries. Uh, these cards uh, definitely uh, goes and overperformed against some decks. Um, but against my matchups that I played, I kind of mostly sided these cards out. I think they're good just against the mixed engine decks right now and stuff. <laughs> and then on to my favorite card in the deck. Um, pretty much the reason that I wanted to play it was my shout out to uh, Dingus for helping me get these. My uh, three ulti skill journeys. So this is one of the big reasons why I wanted to play it. The card is insane. Um, and then last, we do main deck the blowout card that I complain about all the time. I mean, if you're not going to play the deck that loses to it, play the deck that can use it to win. Um, D-Barrier. Um, I only really D-Barriered two people at my locals uh, when I was playing this deck. I mostly won with Rextrum because Rextrum is a hell of a card. Um, but that's it for the main deck. I believe it's 41 or 42. I do not remember exactly off the top of my head. But we'll go ahead and we'll get into the extra deck here really quick. Um, best card in the extra deck, three Rextrums. This card is hands down the best reason to play this card, to play this deck. Um, I mean, it's a walking skill drain, essentially. <laughs> Griffin's a little excited. It's a walking skill drain. Um, you know, pay half your life, make your opponent's monsters attack, match your life points. So typically by the time you're resolving his effect, the, your opponent's not really going to be able to use very many monster effects. Um, we do play three Kurtagina. I would like to see this deck get a new fusion monster. I would. Maybe something that's a little easier to summon. Um, she uh, can... Uh, her attack is equal to... Uh, <laughs> uh, loses attack equal to your life points. The lower your attack, the better. Um, or lower your life points, the better. But you mostly use her to copy um, stuff out of the grave or uh, skill drain 4k beater. And we play three of this. Uh, you rarely ever summon this card, except you're, if you're in a really like, late game grind and you still want to use uh, Strike and stuff like that. They need specific costs that you can't pay. This allows you to do it with paying no cost. But most of the time you send this off of Frenzy to make the Rextrum. Um, now for the non-fusions, believe it or not, we do play Dolka, we do play Lagia, we play Dweller, and we play Zeus. Because why not? It's we're just fodder. This can be whatever you really want it to be. Um, could be Tornado Dragon. Um, I'm just playing these because um, I actually have some in Dolka because sometimes you do get two monsters on the field in rotation and there's just no need for to do anything else. Um, last but not least, we do play the one Phoenix and the one Dark Charmer because everything in your deck is dark, so you just make this to steal something. Um, onto the side deck, I play three anti-spells. I mean, you don't want to lose to blowout cards except for maybe evenly. <laughs> um... We play three Eradicators. Shout out to Juan uh, Madeira. This guy, I didn't realize you could set this off a Lord, then Tribute Lord, and then just completely wreck your opponent for a few turns. Um, I play three Lava Golem just in case if there's anything that Rexham can't get over going second. Lava Golem really helps you just get rid of the cards. Um, then uh, we are playing a Trap deck, so going second, we don't really need our Battle Phase, so Evenly Match I think is one of the highest, like, performing cards this format is really 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 good that's how i beat dark magician was i evenly matched him and then the last couple cards is we play the two ferret flames you guys should know what this card does this card is insane in this deck because it shuffles back uh, your opponent's monsters with attack uh higher than the amount of life points you have um it doesn't target doesn't affect monsters this affects your opponent so even if they have like a towers on the field like the adding this or towers reference you know you can shuffle it back um, and then last but not least, we do play the one red reboot because we pay half our life. I thought about main decking it, but eh, I think it's fine on the side. Um, but typically, I mean, we just play more traps on the side. But I had a lot of fun playing this deck, and I think you guys should definitely give it a try. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the Coliseum next time. Peace.